Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back for another video. Um, this time talking about feel and real. So with the season around the corner, you have to expedite your um, improvements, you have to expedite the timeline, you have to learn how to exaggerate way more than you're ever used to to implement the changes you wanna see happen. So um, I think it's very crucial for us to understand that a lot of the times when, when we talk about making changes, the feel that we talk about, let's say when you're watching my videos, I talk about is very exaggerated, okay? It's never, never taken at a literal face value. So I think the biggest um, concept that I talk about that people get confused about is when I say no hinge. Um, I think no hinge for a lot of people, let's say when we set up, we literally have no hinge, for them to feel literally no hinge, it helps them hinge the right amount, okay? And as, as you can see, in a, and I've mentioned in other videos, if I, lit, if I feel no hinge, for most people, they get roughly 90 degrees of hinge, and that's what we want. I think it's helped a lot of people who watch these videos, it's helped a lot of my clients, um, so it's a good thing. Now, a lot of people say, oh, we have to hinge the golf club. Well, you're totally right, we do have to hinge a golf club. But at the end of the day, by feeling no hinge, it expedites the process of them actually hinging the right amount. If I ask them to hinge half the amount they usually do, they'll never get here in one lesson. They're gonna still, they're gonna hover around here for the rest of the winter because you can't feel for that. Another, another thing I like talking about is making sure that when they turn, they keep their left arm straight. So a lot of amateur golfers, they struggle with being too narrow at the top of their backswing because their trail arm, so for me as a righty, or for us as right-handed golfers, their right arm folds too much. That's why I ask them, oh, can you keep your right arm straight and feel like their swing stops when their right arm can't stay straight anymore? And most of the time, it, work, it, it fixes things right away. Um, the rare guy, maybe one in every 20, may actually literally show me straight arm, but that's cool, because now I know how they learn, now I know how they perceive movement. It, it's, great to, it's great for me to know that so I can change up the, the suggested feeling. So for all of you guys who are working on things with, with your coaches, or, or self-taught, or YouTube, whatever it may be, don't be afraid to exaggerate, okay? It, it's, I got so many clients where, where their swings might be somewhere here, but they don't feel like they're there. They might, want, one client of mine feels like their swing stops at waist high, and literally, their swing will stop right here. But that's totally cool because they know what their own personal feel is, okay? For you guys, it's so crucial for you guys to know what your own personal feel is. Calibrate that to knowing what really happens through video and your, and your improvements and what you're trying to change is gonna happen way, way faster than you would without video or without exaggerating the feels. So hope that helps. Um, any questions, leave in the comments below and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks guys.